Peter B. Collins. This is a special Peter B. Collins podcast, Radio Free Humboldt. This weekend, California Democrats are gathering to elect their delegates. And progressives are rallying to seize this moment. Billy Cook joins me from the furthest north parts of California in Humboldt County, the Eureka Arcata area. Billy, thanks for being with me, and thanks for your political activism. You know, I'm I'm kind of post-activist, a little too cynical, and I really appreciate people like you and my friend Norman Solomon who keep fighting inside the Democratic Party for progressive values and uh, progressive uh, support for critical initiatives. Tell me what's been going on in Humboldt where you have to go, what, all the way to Santa Rosa to gather your uh, uh, Democratic delegates for this important internal vote? Well, Peter, uh, thank you. And I just want to say, and I've told told you before, uh, I have a lot of uh, respect and love and admiration for you. And uh, you you on the airwaves uh, uh, got me started in progressive politics to begin with. So... um, here we are. Um, you're kind of a nexus uh, in, a, in a lot of things. So thank and, you for that. And let me just return the flavor because I have a lot of affection for the people in Eureka who supported my radio show going all the way back to 2003. Uh, made a lot of great connections there. We did some remote broadcasts and uh, I love the area and the people there. So I'm happy to uh, support what you're doing here. So tell us about this internal struggle to get the meeting location closer to the people of Humboldt County. Well, this is something that's happening all over California. And our story that's happening here in Humboldt County in the Assembly 2 District is uh, exactly what you've said, where uh, initially uh, we uh, were given one location to vote, physical brick-and-mortar location in Santa Rosa, uh, my understanding is this location is, is, is literally just blocks away from the southernmost uh, border of uh, our district. It, I think as a bird flies from Oregon down to Santa Rosa, it covers about 320 miles. Right. Uh, we have a uh, what is called a, a regional director, and her name is Deborah Bronner. She is um, an ex officio of our um, um, state senator, Mike McGuire who apparently is um, not too happy with uh, progressives in Humboldt County. Um, what they're doing uh, initially was they decided to only have one location in Santa Rosa, as you indicated. Um, there's a process to appeal that, and we did. Uh, we rallied here in Humboldt County, and other people uh, in our district uh, wrote letters, and uh, it was a six to nothing or six to zero, seven to zero um, unanimous decision in our favor. Uh, to have a second polling site, which the California Democratic Party bylaws specifically um, state, is, mm-hmm. uh, and, and uh, that's part of the policy and procedure. And, and Billy, so, for people who don't know the geography, the distance from Eureka to Santa Rosa is some 300 miles, and it's a rugged drive through the beautiful redwood forests. Uh, right, it's not not quite 300 miles. That 320 it, miles is the full length of the our whole district. district. Okay. It's, it's almost, it's over a three, it's, it's about a three and a half hour drive on a good day. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, this is winter weather. Um, like, you know, we, uh, we're catching a break in the weather right now. I'm, I'm about to go table in front of the Arcata co-op and, uh, the sun's out. Uh, but you know, you, you can't plan on that. Mm-hmm. There's also, uh, uh, a real critical juncture happening, uh, um, on the highway 101, uh, near Del Norte, uh, Crescent city, where they allowed uh, the second site after our appeal. Uh, was uh, one, and um, there, there, that there's a part of the uh, Highway 101 that's that's really close to slipping into the ocean. There, uh, so there's all kinds of obstacles. In the meantime, we're focused on solutions. Uh, we this is uh, the the deck in the hand that we've been given, mm-hmm. and you know we've just um, uh, we've just continued to um, fight, and um, we want our appeal, and we're determined to win this election tomorrow. And and let me clarify, Humboldt progressive Democrats have a choice of either going to Crescent City or the Santa Rosa location. Is that right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Um, In Santa Rosa, in um, that region, uh, just under 50 percent of registered Democrats uh, Mm -hmm. live. Um, And in Crescent City area, Del Norte County, less than 4 percent. Right. Humboldt County is the second largest bastion of of Democrats, but we've always been more politically active than 
our more uh, mainstream and corporate Democrat uh, uh I have friends and affiliates, I suppose you should say, down in um, in, in the southern region. Mm-hmm. And right now, the assembly, um, uh, the, um, the 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 Sacramento and Washington power is all rested in the Santa Rosa area. And right now, uh, we're uh, we have a slate of twelve progressives that represent um, uh, a fairly diverse uh, group of individuals. Six, um, there's seven self-identified males, seven self-identified females. That's part of the Democratic Party rules that could be upgraded, obviously. Um, and, oh gosh, I forgot where I was going, Peter. <laughs> All right. Well, let me let me ask you this. When you set up that table in Arcata in the next few minutes, uh, what are your key message points to get people to get involved? And you, I'm sure you remind them that even if they're not currently registered, they can register uh, at the uh, ADEMS event and uh, uh, go ahead and vote for the slate or the uh, delegates of their choice. But right. what, what are the motivating issues that you're using to engage with people? Well, this is really a get out the vote, get out the vote. Uh, this is an election that really isn't well known. Um, I didn't, I'm, I've considered myself politically savvy, listened to you for over a decade, and I didn't know about the ADEM election until 2017. And I think um, many of the folks that were um, swept into the um, Bernie movement um, uh, became, um, like myself, uh, a lot of us learned about this uh, at the same time, mm-hmm. and these these elections are generally insider um, C- California um, Democratic Party elections, and and they really don't want you to participate. So right. my message yeah. is, uh, you know, when I I feel more compelled to participate in something when I know that the system is set up for me not to participate. <laughs> That's kind of a long spiel, but my my simple message is uh, to reach out to politically savvy people and people that uh, are left-leaning and, and like to vote in elections and just let them know, like, to say, ask them simply, are you planning to vote tomorrow? Do you know that there is an election tomorrow? And uh, we have little things, uh, buttons and stickers to reach out to children and have a little fun, uh, that little future voter stickers that look exactly like their parents get when they um, go and vote in the voter booth. And, mm-hmm. you know, we try to have fun and educate at the same time. And uh, we're trying to grow our progressive base here. Uh, as well, but we we just really want people to know about this election and and the different progressives that are that are uh, running throughout California. This story is is a microcosm of of what's happening in the California Democratic Party, and it's really not just about us here in Humboldt County. It's about and, and Billy, th- this is this is a significant progressive moment. We have a new young governor who has a history of bold strokes. He's sitting on uh, what is now a $19 billion surplus. Some of that's, uh, you know, money set aside for a rainy day, but it's there. Uh, He's got super majorities of Democrats in both houses and a real mandate. He ran on expanding health care access. And while he doesn't explicitly call it Medicare for all, uh, he is a single payer advocate. And I believe this is the moment where progressives have to push back on the corporate Democrats who populate much of those super super majorities in both of those houses and let them know that the grassroots want to move forward. We want single payer. We want to expand. Uh, uh, Newsom has already announced a second year of community college uh, subsidized by the state. He is expanding access to uh, child care for uh, for toddlers. And there are a lot of other things. He's taken on wildfire uh, control. And uh, I, I think he's going to be a very activist governor. And we need activists in the Democratic Party to press the existing incumbents to take bold strokes. Well said, Peter. Well said. And uh, as, as you said, we need to also like we need to seize the moment and encourage more participation in democracy because, you know, what we've seen right now is an election that brought us one of the most diverse Congress uh, in the most diverse Congress in history. And it's really a shame that it's taken us this long to get this far. We really need to step up, especially as uh, white male privileged individuals like myself, to, to speak up for people of color and other marginalized groups. And and like you said, now now is the time. So, Billy, uh, there's a website, adems.vote. The URL doesn't have a .com. It's adems.vote. And tell people what they'll find when they go there, whether they're in Humboldt County or anywhere else around California. 
Thank you, Peter. It doesn't matter if you're a registered Democrat because you can show up to any of these locations and register the same day. So if you go to www.adems.vote, and that's A-D-E-M-S dot vote, what you can do is uh, simply enter the assembly district that you live in into a little drop-down menu, and it will give you the information of where your polling locations are. It will also give you a preview of the progressive slate that is running in your district. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, I want to thank you for your activism. We're going to get this message out. Let's uh, ask people to share this podcast all over California like wildfire. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's a bad bad reference. Uh, but share it. And uh, let's get people to turn up on Saturday, January 12th. That is tomorrow as we speak. So uh, please push this podcast uh, to everyone you know who is a progressive and an activist, including people who are not uh, currently a part of the Democratic Party. There are important opportunities here, and I hope you will step up. Billy Cook, thanks for alerting me to this, and uh, best wishes on a successful outing tomorrow. Thank you, Peter. Happy Friday. Much love and appreciation. All right, it's your turn to get active. Send me your comments, peter at peterbcollins.com. Thanks, Billy Cook. Happy trails to you Until we meet again Happy trails to you Keep smiling